listen, I know this isn't your table, but I, I want your opinion on it nonetheless. You handle it however you wish here. We've got two quarterbacks drafted last year, number one overall and fourth overall, who have been benched by their teams. They've been benched by their teams due to ineffectual play. Now the one in Indianapolis involving Anthony Richardson. The question is, is when is he going to get some reps? How is he going to get good? How do you evaluate? Do you have an opinion on this uh, about how long it takes, how much patience should be had for young quarterbacks, certainly those drafted at the very top of the draft, Baker? Yeah, um, for, you know, from my perspective, being thrown in it pretty early, it's quarterbacks extremely hard. It's an extremely hard position to play. And the game is just different mental wise. When you transfer from college to the NFL, there's a lot more reads, the verbiage. Um, I mean, everybody's pretty much doing no huddle offense in college. So you can't really train yourself in that aspect until you get there and get the reps. And that takes time. It takes time to get all that stuff down and to truly get the grasp of it to where you get your routines. And so Unless you're in a win right now mentality, it's for quarterbacks, it's it's probably easier to wait and, and watch and learn and sit back and see how guys operate day to day behind a good veteran. And I was fortunate enough to do that for uh, the offseason and a few games into the year when I was in Cleveland. I had Drew Stanton and Terod Taylor in front of me, the guys that are both vets and had played, and they just helped me out. Once I was thrown in there, they just helped me out along the way. So for me, it's yeah, it's probably better to wait on some of these guys, but if you're in a win right now mentality and you throw them in, you got to have patience with it. The, the, expecting these guys to be able to transfer everything they've done in college to the game immediately, uh, it's asking a lot. And, yeah, you need a little bit more patience. Well, in terms of what you can learn by watching um, as opposed to by playing, uh, what's yeah. your philosophy on on that, Baker? <sighs> you have to have the mental makeup if you're if you're sitting as the backup and trying to learn you have to be able to soak everything up listen to every conversation that guy has whoever's starting and really pay attention to how he operates within the details of the system um and, and you just gotta if you have questions you gotta ask you just have to and so you you have to be a little bit outgoing in that aspect but then also know your place as a rookie backup or a young player as a backup but when there's you know there's time to ask questions do it because um if you don't ask, it might might come back to haunt you. So how are you a better quarterback now than when you were maybe trying to figure stuff out and didn't have the patience that was required, Baker? I look back at, you know, when I see some old clips or anything like that, uh, going back to try and find some schemes and stuff that I look at it and uh, a naive quarterback just playing football and not really having a grasp of the whole system or – what's going on on the defense and uh, the game just moves really fast. You know, things now they slows down. So it's to me, it's night and day different. Um, And and it's fun to see that, you know, process through throughout the years of, okay, you, you take some of these reps, you learn from them, good and bad. You can, you can put those in the mental bank and learn from them down the road. And you can also use it to help other guys out and, and, you know, give it back. So, and again, I know this isn't your gig, it's not your team, but what advice would you give Anthony Richardson if he needs it right now, Baker? You know, I, I stay patient. Media is going to write whatever story they want right now. Um, just, I mean, just off, off the headlines of, did he know about it? Did their teammates find out from social media? All that stuff. It's just be the same guy for these guys in the building. Do your job um, and support Joe now that he's in there. And that's that's the, that's the most important thing is support the team, support the guy that's playing, provide everything you possibly can to possibly win. But then. Um, while he's doing that, he's got to stay ready because you, you never know. This is a, it's a long season. Um, it's a grind. It's a physical game. So you, you never know when your time's going to be called. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.